Number 43, rank the compounds in each of the following groups in order of increasing acidity or basicity as indicated and explain the order you assigned. So in this case, for letter B, we have to go by increasing basicity, and then they give us three ions here. So we have BrO2 minus, ClO2 minus, and then IO2 minus. So let's put our ranking system in place. We need to go from increasing basicity. So we're going to start with the least basic. So we got least basic, and we go to most basic. Okay, cool. Now, sometimes it's easier to not think of basicity, but to think of acidity. Generally, the trends are, are more easier to understand in terms of acidity, so you can always just translate that back to basicity. If you are the least basic, you are the most acidic. Because remember, the more acidic you are, the less uh, basic your conjugate acid, uh, the less base the conjugate base is. The less, yeah, that makes sense. And then vice versa, if you're most basic, you are the least acidic. So let's see, maybe we could think of this in terms of acidity and just rank it that way because then our basicity scale will be correct. Now we just have to figure out, well, how were these acids, right? There's no hydrogens here, but they all have negative charges, which means that they came from a conjugate acid right, of having a hydrogen. This conjugate acid would be HBrO2, HClO2, and HIO2. And if you've noticed now, we have all hydrogens in the front, we have oxygens in the back, and then we have a random element in the middle. In this case, it's bromine, chlorine, and iodine. These are oxo acids. And we have a trend for that. Remember, as you go down a periodic table, your acidity for oxo acids will decrease. So let's see, let's just rank where these elements are. And remember, the elements that you're looking for is not the hydrogen, not the oxygen, but always that guy in the middle. So in this case, it's bromine, chlorine, and iodine. You know, and it comes from here, right? Bromine, chlorine, and iodine. So let's see, Cl is on the top of the three, then comes bromine, and then comes iodine. Okay, so as you're going down the periodic table, your acidity will decrease, which means that you will be um, most acidic on the top, and as you go down, you'll be least acidic because you're decreasing. So most acidic, aka least basic, but I think of it as most acidic, most acidic would be on the top here, and that's the ClO2. So ClO2 would be over here. As you're going down, you become least acidic, and that's over here, least acidic, aka most basic. So that's over here, and then the, the guy in the middle is the bromine one. Now we just have to put our arrows. Since it's going from least to most, you put less than signs. ClO2 minus is a less uh, base than BrO2 minus, which is a less base than IO2. And we figured out the trend. Now, if we just need to explain it, we can talk about what we have talked about in terms of acidity. And for acidity, right, for oxo acids, if you decrease your acidity, that just means that you're increasing your basicity. And if we want to link this with electronegativity, you will also have a drop in your electronegativity. Okay. Um, I think, I think we're good, right? I hope this helps. Let's keep on working hard, and I will see you in later lessons, right? So just to put it in perspective, um, your ClO2- is the most electronegative. 
Negative. Did I spell that right? Who cares? Right? Spelling not included. <laughs> and then this one would be the least electronegative. Meaning the iodine versus the chlorine. Okie dokie. Beautiful. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much. And I will see you all in later lessons. Okay. Bye-bye.